Are you planning a short trip to Athens or you are wondering if you should stay there for a day and have a long layover in the city? Or you are just curious how does the city look and what can you do in there? In this video, we will play a little game and go to the top 10 most famous places in the city and I will tell you if I suggest you going there as well or it's just better to skip them and do something else more fun instead. Are you ready to play? Hi Curious Gang, welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here I'm giving you a very warm hug. My name is Fasi, I live in London but I also love traveling and if you want to see more content around these topics don't forget to like this video and subscribe because you know you will get a tons of tips all for free. Hello guys and welcome to Athens! We finally made it to our hotel. Let me sit and I will tell you what happened. And this is how the Middles Airport looks. And there was so much wind that until the very end we didn't even know if we would be able to depart or our flight would be cancelled. This is so adventurous. <laughs> I love it. It's so scary. Like this this plane was built in like you know 19 like I don't know 20s or something. You know? I, I but don't... it's so small, it feels like a private plane to be honest. Let me show you. <laughs> After landing, we took this train to the city center. But we arrived at our accommodation and it's so so cool in here. Look at that. Basically, this is our view. Look at it. And because now it's the evening, there is also the sunset. Are you ready to show you also how it is this place inside? It is a little bit of a mess, so apologies about that. We have this kitchen in here, there is also a small mini fridge. There are two hot plates, there is this thing for the coffee, for tea, mini microwave. Yeah, some things in here if you decide to cook. Five minutes later. It's like we're gonna <laughs> have like 10 other people over. This is the bed. My favorite comfort test. Oh! Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I think this is the comfiest bed we have ever been to. And there is also this sofa, but this is like all our luggage, this small table. This one, which is a mirror. Let's go to this beautiful terrace because I didn't show you that there is also another small sofa in here. And I don't know if you realize it, but like literally the terrace is as big as the room. Look at that. And we were quite tired from the delays, the flight and just everything that happened during the day. But we still ended up going outside and also having a very late dinner. Even though, as you can see, like everyone was eating at this time, it was like 11 p.m. And we are about to have breakfast. We found this cute little place. We got spina cupita, which is super typical. Oh. It looks like that. See how much filling there is. Good morning, I just woke up. I also got some coffee because, I mean, you know me. Now I'm not at my full energy. These are all the people that are awake in Athens at 11 a.m. Eh, lucky them, they're asleep. We're, we're around, you know, in the hot summer, you know. Guys, are you ready to come with me at the market 
at the Central Market at Tatans. Be ready because it's going to be a little bit of a mess. Get ready and let's go. And just be ready that the next images might be a bit disturbing. The first place that we had to go is the market because you can understand so much about local culture and have like actual contact with people living in the city from the market. But I don't know, I was a bit surprised of how are they just hanging the meat like that. You could like see the entire animal and I don't know, this is not something that we would see in London. And this place is a total must for me. And right behind me it is the Parthenon, which it is the symbol of Athens. And uh, many times it is referred as the Acropolis, but actually this is not the Acropolis. It is on the hill of the Acropolis, but it is the Parthenon. It was built at the uh, 5th century before Christ and uh, its purpose has changed throughout the years. But in general it is dedicated to the goddess Athena. And unfortunately, we don't have enough time to go into all these beautiful museums because, as I told you, we have only 24 hours and we don't have time to waste, but we'll try to make the most out of it. If you have more time in Athens, definitely go, but if you're short in time like us, I would say it's better to skip. And behind me it is the Acropolis Museum which actually was closed last time that they came because it opened 10 years ago. But you guys, if you're thinking, mm, why are they not entering at any of these places? Now I will show you exactly the reason why. Look at all the queue over there and then it continues. It is literally full of people. And walking around Athens, sometimes they were very nice and they would let me film anything and they were even happy about it. But sometimes it also went like that. No, no, no. No, okay, no. Of course we have some Greek salad and this is 550 and you I'll, got some skewers here. I love veggies, what can I say? Meat with bread, but you're also getting some of my salad. No. And after that I was ready to go to, back to the place where my camera got stolen. At the moment I'm at uh, Monastiraki Square and as you can see it's full of people, full of life and also there are many restaurants, small shops, some of them are more, okay most of them are let's be honest are touristy but close to me there is also the flea market where we will go and you know how much I love markets in London but here they're the real a little bit messy but also very lively market and of course we're totally going and to be honest with you i was a little bit disappointed from the flea market because i thought that there will be more antiques more unique cool pieces or also second hand clothes but from what i saw they were mostly like the typical touristy shops or also other like new pieces but very cheap and low quality and i just didn't see any Anything so cool or unique and I was quite sad but then I found this and I found these beautiful cherries which were only 150 per kilo and okay I think that now going there was totally worth it and you haven't actually really visited Greece if you haven't been to one of their cafes and stay there for hours and you can see that locals are literally doing this pretty much uh, at, at any time of the day but look how relaxed is everything. And after seeing them, we just thought that we have to go for coffee as well. Also because this is one of the things that you can do to just cool down and relax. How is your ice cream? It's great, it's 250. Really cheap. I got coffee. This is cappuccino freddo and it's 4 euros. And this is a normal bag. And this is the Hellenic Parliament and I just thought that these small blue houses are a bit funny but also very cute. Oh, it's so funny. I just realized that they're actually there so, th so they can keep them a shadow right in front because, I mean, it's so warm in here, I can honestly understand them. And they're also dressed in the national clothes, which are pretty heavy, so I really don't envy them. 
and in case you're wondering the temperature was around like 40 degrees that's why i'm complaining and i just want to remind you that all the things that you see in this video we did them only in one day so you can just imagine how tired were we at this point but i couldn't just leave the video unfinished for you guys so i powered through and we continued walking around the city at the moment we are at one of the main shopping streets in here which is so lively so buzzing and you can find mostly affordable brands here in the beginning like there is Zara, there is H&M and all these commercial brands but there are also other smaller Greek shops and it is so hot but let me show you what you can find in here and a little bit of England England And we are at the National Gardens because you guys it is so freaking hot that we decided that this is actually the best place where we can sit under some shadow without having like 10 coffees a day and also enjoy some nice view and it's quite nice in here and I have to say it's like one of the coldest or not this warm place it's pretty it's here. cool you know like yeah, there's like a nice breeze you know and uh, I know that there are also here some goats and other animals, so I'm quite eager to find them. Let's go. <laughs> and this was like the only turtle that I found, so this place is a skip for me. Are we done with the documentary? And the plan was to get a little fish, I really highlight a little just for the evening so we can have dinner at home and then go out, but yeah, this is what happened. I think we got a little bit too much fish. Yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit Ben much. exaggerated a but little bit. But we didn't bit, spend but... much, it was like 25 euros, you know? Yeah, but it's quite a lot, <laughs> it's like we're gonna <laughs> have like 10 other people over. And after dinner we went to this cocktail bar called A4 Athens and I totally suggest you going there because the view is incredible and it's not so expensive but at this point I was so freaking tired that I could like just fall asleep on the table. And I really hope you enjoyed this video because I was literally like dead after filming it so don't forget to like it to show some support and of course consider subscribing. Love you all! Bye!